Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us this morning. Today, we're joined this morning by MSAT President Ellen Silverstein. Good morning, Ellen. Good morning, Sandy. How are you today? I am doing wonderful. It's a beautiful, sunny day. I don't know when we're supposed to get this rain, but it keeps telling us we're getting it, but I don't see it. Yeah, yeah. probably <sighs> nice. Probably nice. Yeah. Yes. Well, I know we have a lot to cover today, and I'm going to jump right into it. So please just Go. feel an uh, opening, please. Yeah. So the first thing is, I know that we've been, we met with the controller's office and they are looking to redo their website and they are going to be looking feedback from the tax professionals. And so um, we are going to be posting out there um, a link so that if you would like to be a part of that focus group, that um, you can sign up and I did it and it only took me about two minutes. And um, what they're looking for is feedback on this new website that they plan on launching in December. Now, this focus group will be meeting specifically in Annapolis, and it will be after October 15th. Um, so, um, so no problems there with the date. But if you're available to do that, they would love to have your feedback. If you're one of those people that use that their website all the time, um, please, you know, please sign up. There, we need to hear from you because once it's launched, you know, it's going to be hard back to go back and get things corrected. And at that meeting, Sandy, we were lucky enough to get a preview of the website. Yes, and it does look uh, really nice. They've done a nice job in sort of separating the different areas uh, a little bit more clearly, making the mm -hmm. navigation that much quicker. They want to do it like a three clicks to get you to where you're supposed to right. go. Uh, so that it looked really, really well designed and very well thought out. But uh, uh, getting our feedback is going to be really, really helpful. Right. And I really thought it was interesting that they use the same, actually, a lot of the same platform, the accordion platform, like we use on our website, where you right. hit the and then it opens up once you hit it, right. So, which is nice. So it makes it more um, it, more user-friendly, yes. not as cl uh, cluttered. If you ask me, it's not as cluttered. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Great. Looks great. So the next thing is about the transcripts. Now, so apparently um, people were having some issues because, you know, there's a whole new process of getting your transcripts from the IRS. And so uh, re recently I just received notice from the IRS that they have told, informed us there's a time limit on when these transcripts are going to be available on the e-service. So I know, Alan, you use this e-services. I do. I do. I've had much better luck since I attended the IRS forum in 2018. I was able to get myself reconnected with the e-services and uh, you go on periodically, which I do think you need to do, uh, whether or not you're looking for a transcript. And I've been able to get them there. And once I get them, I either download them to my, you know, my computer or whatever, and I have access to that information um, on my now on my computer and I don't have to wait for it. And it does not sit on the e-services account. So if right. You can do that. It's it is super helpful and it's very quick. You know, I put right. information in, I get it, and there's the you know there's the transcript information that I was looking for. Well, I guess some of our members or some of the practitioner world thought that that once it was in their portal, it didn't disappear. No, yeah. That is not true. The transcript will automatically be removed from your uh, portal after mm. three days once it's viewed. Okay, so once you view it, you have three more days, and that's it. And after 30 days, it's and it's never been viewed, it's gone. So if you request it and it's out there and um, you never viewed it, you don't see it after 30 days. It's probably good security on their part to get yes. that. So. So, so apparently there was some feedback on that. So apparently also uh, during our 2019 legislative session, there was a Senate Bill 728 that was passed concerning the sales and use tax form, which is Form 202. Apparently, on this in this bill, there was requirements for some changes on the form. Now, most of the forms that happens with the state, they usually either happen in, during the fiscal years. But this bill made it really a little difficult for the state of Maryland, and they're asking for a form change by October the first. Mm. So, um, what we're hearing is that they've expedited the form changes for the form 202 on the sales and use tax so that it's going to be ready by October 1st. Now we haven't seen a draft um, I mean, at all. And it, it, I think it was like six bullet points, wasn't it? 
Alan, that we saw on some changes on the sales and use tax form? Yes, yes. So I'm now I'm kind of wondering, I'm doing some of those online for my clients. I wonder if they'll be changing that information as well. So I didn't, we didn't, I don't know that we talked about the online when you're submitting. Yeah, I guess they, that's, I guess right. the next process. First, they have to come up with a draft right. and then from there they can convert that to an online, online version. So as of today, we still don't have the draft. Um, but they're working on it right now and they want to know, wanted everyone to know and out in the practitioner world that they are working on it because they do realize this new form becomes effect as of October 1st. So if you have something or you, you have a software, just make sure that October 1st that they, they actually have the correct form because it's a possibility you might get rejected. Mm. It's not yeah. going to flow properly. Right. And here we are five weeks out. Five, five weeks out and right we're still waiting for a draft right they said they're working on it very diligently so and as soon as we have it once we'll, again uh, once again you know we we constantly see some changes going on and this is one of the great things about the facebook live that get, keeps our members up to date on all these issues right. and once we get that draft we'll post it out so people can see it as well exactly so let's let's change gears a little bit and Talk a little bit about the society and what's going on coming up. Well, the first thing's coming up is next week, we have a seminar on the nuts and bolts of estate planning down at the Frost Associates. So this is our dinner and CPE series. Right. This is our, our, our August version. And um, we're excited to have um, um, Frost Associates in partner with us on this program. So I, I think this is a good title, Nuts, Nuts and Bolts of Estate Planning. It's perfect. Yep, yep. You can't, uh, having just experienced this with a friend of mine who passed away recently, who was a CPA, uh, not only considering that estate planning, but do consider your succession planning. But we can talk about that at another, we might need to have another Facebook Live just about that to be right. Honest. So, uh, but yes, estate planning is a critical tool as we are all, um, getting a little bit older. Wait, yes, go hear that knock on the door. door. Yep, there you go. Right. But, mm. uh, we, the, definitely a timely topic always. So right. great stuff. Yeah, and like I said, again, member service. And another member service we got coming up mm -hmm. um, on September 18th, um, we're actually joined this jointly with Hertzback and Company of, of Owings Mills. Um, what they're doing is that and we've heard a lot of feedback from our younger members that, you know, hey, we're getting out into the field. You know, I want to know how, you know, what, what I'm looking for when I'm interviewing. And also our interviewees and interviewers are saying, you know, what can we be asking? So we're doing an interview boot camp with them and um, with Hertzbeck at their office. So this is this is brand new, brand new uh, program. So I'm excited. Great. It should be very well attended. Hopefully the students can, uh, I'm assuming that's going to be on a webinar base or, or do you have to be there live to get that? No, we have to be there live. Yes. Okay. Okay. Great. So then uh, the students and, and the interviewers will get some great feedback right. as to better be able to communicate with each other about what people are looking for, the information that the interviewees need and what the interviewees need from the interviewers. You know what I mean? So right. be, uh, just an ideal setting for, for that to happen. Yeah. And I want to really thank um, Hertzstack and company for uh, helping us out on this program, you know, being one of the larger accounting firms in here in the state of Maryland, mm -hmm. you know, they, they do this, you know, daily. And so what, who, what a better person or company to be able to do this. So, which is yeah. great. So we that's wonderful. Develop some great partnership uh, relationships with our local CPA firms and and with right, the state yeah, and with the IRS. We're we're very busy over here. Yes. Now the next one is really exciting. I'm excited about this. The Guinness Brewery Tour. I mean, oh, yes. wonderful. Yes. Very. Uh, I mean, I'm that. excited. I mean, we sold out the first one at 20. We only have seven spots left on the second one. So. Uh -huh. This is really amazing. I am excited. I mean, what a great networking event. Great to come out, talk to your friends, enjoy that mug of beer, and almost and enjoy a little bit of that fall, hopefully the little fall weather coming into play. Yep. Right before Oktoberfest, let's just really get in the mood, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I've been very excited to get over there. I haven't had a chance until it'll, that'll be my first trip over to that uh, particular location. So I am very excited about going and I'm really excited the fact that a lot of our members are now joining us on some of these into some of these events because we went when we did the winery at Doden, 
that was really awesome. It was a beautiful setting and, and people really, you know, need to take advantage of these opportunities. We get to get to know you, you get to know us. Yes. Perfect. And it's a wonderful, very relaxed setting. So I'm and, and, and like I said, that. it's just not you. Bring your family. I mean, like I said, bring your wife, spouse, family, friends. It's 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 a great day. Yes. Day. So next we're going to be looking at another brand new program. I'm telling you, and these are again are all member benefit programs. On September 26th, we're hosting a buying and selling, um, uh, what's it called? Um, a business matchmaker. A business matchmaker event. On yeah, there we go. In Colombia. Mm -hmm. So this is really a different, um, I get, again, excuse me, I'm getting the hiccups here. Um, we're hearing a lot of, you know, we're, a lot of us are in that transition period, you know, not quite ready to retire, but we're the you know they're we're thinking about it. It's not you know like like ten years ago we knew we were working, but now you know we're you know hey now it's popping up in my head that I'm thinking about maybe in a couple of years or maybe even a year I might be retiring. So how does that work? And I know you know that whole process could be is a journey is a journey for anyone. It very much so. Journey. Yeah, very much so. And I do think getting a a handle on what in, what that entails or what's involved with taking those first steps in that journey, this could be a really great opportunity for people who are, you know, ramping up their practices or trying mm -hmm. to build a bigger practice and helping those that are now thinking, like you just said, ah, I'm, you know, in my, now in my whatever age you want to be, and mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about retiring and how do I get rid of some of my dear right. clients and how, how does that work and who would be available to, to, to pick up, right. the, pick up the work from me. So it's a great. So, so this one, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to be bringing in people into who are saying, you know, my business is for sale. No, that's not what this, not what this event's about. What this event is, we're going to put a panel together of people who are in the process who have gone through the process or may be considering going through the process and a panel and what they have found Mm -hmm. You know, you know, just like you and me, it's a peer to peer thing. And they're going to share, you know, that, you know, some of this legwork has been done by your fellow members. So right. hey, tap into that knowledge, let's right. tap into that. And so we're going to put a panel together of, of these individuals who can give, hey, th you know, this is what I did and tried. It did not work. It might work for you. But let me tell you why it didn't work for me. So I, I think this is going to be a great program. Great. I think it's just an awesome opportunity again to sort of let people know what's involved and how to first step into that journey and what right. it feels like and, and what, what things to consider while, right. while you're walking in. So. Now, it's because uh, we know there's probably going to be a lot of questions during this present, we're limiting the attendance to 20 people. So the first 20 people are the ones that are going to be able to um, sign up. And again, it's just going to be open to members. So if this is something, and like I said, it might be on something on your radar two and three years down the road. But you know what? If you're thinking about it, let's at least get some information to you, you know? Yep. Ideal. Yep. So the next one is September 27. And this one is at Martin's West. And we have Meg Manchester of Miles and Stockbridge coming. And they're going to be doing a four hour, hour seminar on are you compliance with your regulation 7216? So, so if you, uh, you know, aren't, you know, aren't too excited about regulation 7216, I'm telling you, you can't have a better product than Martin's West. Mm -hmm. So come and enjoy the breakfast. It is, it's yummy, yummy. So, and you, and nobody really understands what 7216 entails. And so this mm -hmm. is really good information because we do need to under better understand the things that we are doing in our current practices that may be um, going against that, you know, not right. in compliance with 7216 and to rethink what we're doing and how we're communicating and working with our clients, et cetera. So if this is really important information, everybody should be really yeah. thinking about it and, and looking into what is 7216 and, and how right. the presentation. Well, you know, the, biggest, the biggest takeaway I have is that regulation 7216 it was written, I think it was in 1979 with that part of the reg was written in 1979. Well, as you all know, things have definitely changed since 1979. Yeah. So, so, and it's a very broad writing of the law. Mm -hmm. Where we're going now, what we're doing with putting things in the cloud, interacting with her through portals and everything. You know, these things weren't even thought about back then. So 
how does this regulation 72 16 resonate with the current environment that we're in so this is what i think is really interesting so reg is really going to bring it break it down for us and mm -hmm. i'm looking forward she i think she's going to do a great job for us no i know she's going to do a great job for us and so um and she does this all the time and you know this is one of her specialty areas and that's why we brought an attorney from miles and stockbridge um to do this because of the uniqueness because not, as you recall this is not only a civil penalty but this is caused as criminal penalties if you're in violation so mm -hmm. which really makes it a little deeper so something you might want to take about again you know, if you haven't signed up, definitely sign up. And what's the maximum we can have at that? Oh, uh, that one's 75. We got 75 there. Great. So Great. We're, we're plenty there. And like I said, and also the yummy potatoes. Yummy potatoes. <laughs> it's all about the food. It's all about the food. I'm a foodie. Okay, the next thing is August 31st. Now, that's just around the corner. In fact, it's next week, I believe. Yes, it is. Yeah. So what, are we, what happens on the 31st, Ellen? Well, our education plans uh, that we introduced back in, what was it, May, are going to expire. So if you are interested, and you should be, truly, to save big on your education uh, with the Maryland Society of Accounting and Tax Professionals, you definitely should sign up for an education plan. And they, they do expire on August uh, 31st. So come September 1, will no longer be available. Uh, and those plans include membership and education. So right. Combined and the, and the CP and the ethics two hours. And the ethics and it comes with free ethics two hours. Yes, right. Ethics. You absolutely should be looking into doing that um, if you haven't already, and that is the deadline date. So right, definitely. So no, I mean, let, let me put it this way: we have over two hundred and sixty members signed up for one of the plans. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Members, good accounting professionals have run the numbers. And I, they have determined that this is a great value. Yes, it totally. Is. 260 members who are wrong. Yeah, right. <laughs> accountants. One We're accountants. accountants. That's what we do. Yeah. Right. So, so, so that's a very good opportunity. Oh yeah, exactly, exactly. It's a great opportunity. And like I said, and this was a 60th anniversary special plan. So, so please, you know, you know, you know, it's a benefit to you now. After September 1st, we, it's not saying that you cannot join. You cannot join with us. You can't come to the seminars. Oh, you can. We can do that. It's just oh. it reverts back to the old pricing of prior years. So, so like I said, if you can take advantage of this opportunity, please do. You know, this is a great saving. Totally should. Agreed. Yeah. Good. Well, Ellen, I think we're almost out of time. We, um, can you imagine? We've already been talking for almost 20 minutes. You know, us when us girls start talking. Hey, hey. Yeah. Never hey. a problem. <laughs> yes. Never a problem. Well, next week, we're going to be joined by past president Roy Frick. Roy is the current chair of the MSA Scholarship Foundation. And he's going to be joining us to make a big announcement. Well, not a big announcement, but an annual announcement of the new 17 recipients who are receiving scholarships this year. It's amazing. Something we've never done. We've never, you know, you know, really released the names of those scholarship recipients. And this is, I mean, we have, this is our future. And so they're going to be re awarding $31,000 worth of scholarships. Now, many of our members and, and, and who attend our seminars know that we sell 50-50 raffles and candy for the foundation. And this is because of them we're able to do this. So we, I want to just really say a big thank you to all of our people who attend our seminars and members and who donate to the family. Mm -hmm. Because of you, we are making a difference for our future. And I'm looking forward to having Roy on the program next week. That's going to be terrific. And we do definitely thank our members and uh, all of our attendees at the seminars for purchasing the candy and participating in the raffles uh, because that really is funding our future. We are paying it yep. forward in a big way. Big yep, game. really are. Yeah. Well, I'm Ellen. Once again, it's it's a, a joy to see you this morning, and thank you so much for joining me and sharing all this information with our members. And have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. And, okay. and to all of our audience, thank. You.